All right, here we go. This is Daybreak, and spawning in the upper right-hand position, we have our Purple Terran player. He's from the EU. His name is Goody. And spawning in the bottom left-hand position, you've watched game after game of him going battle cruiser and just craziness everywhere, improvising wonderfully. He is the Red Terran. His name is Dragon. Now, this is Daybreak, and it happens to be my favorite map of all time. And I talk about this time and time and time and time again on every stream of my, that I'm on, so... I, I don't even know if it's worth doing. I'm sure everybody's... I'm giving you the player cam. The cam's on you. Show us the map, man. All right. Here's why this map is so cool. So you have multiple attack paths going on, right? You have this one, this one, and this one. So bottom, middle, and top. And controlling those two, you have these Zelnaga watchtowers. Both of these. Now, what's really cool about these is that every... Th there are two main focal points. Every attack path has to go through. Every attack path will hit one of these two focal points before you can make it through to your opponent's base. So controlling these two Zelnaga Watchtowers is absolutely huge. And because there are those focal points, there are, especially for TVT, very important parts of the map to control. If you control either of these, which is like over here or over here, if you can control these areas, then you are in control of the map and you are feeling very, very safe and you see everything that's going on. You know exactly when you should expand, you know exactly when you should make units, and I think that makes such a cool uh, dynamic in a map. Instead of having all this like sneaking around going on the sides, this is purely, oh, you know I'm attacking? Well, that's fine because I've been getting little advantages here and there all game long to finally come out on top. And that is why I think Daybreak is probably the coolest map in the entire world. Okay. You heard it here, folks. Daybreak, close map in the world. Now, I want to point out something. In the Play M Daily, the bracket is like a living organism. It's constantly moving, and sometimes, say, one of Dragon's opponents weren't ready yet. Like, his other side of the bracket wasn't finished playing out, so we'd have to go to someone else. That's what usually happens every single daily. But today, we've been lucky enough to have long Dragon games, so his bracket was able to keep up. And we've been following one player the entire time, which is a treat, because the Play M Daily, these storylines develop. And if we were to follow Dragon the entire day and he was the one the daily, that would be something. That would be really fun to watch. Yeah, we see exactly how he beats down all of his opponents along the way. Or, you know, even if they're not beatdowns. Like, we see all the close calls and what keeps him in the game. And that's always very exciting to see. So, yeah, I mean, it'd be cool to see Dragon go all the way. Um, do we know who yet he is going up against coming up in, like, the, the future matches? I haven't been keeping up with the bracket at all. All right. These games well, have been right. too, too long. We, don't have, we usually have downtime between matches, but here, it's been go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we have a factory coming down for Dragon, so, I mean, he loves this factory play. Uh, we'll see if he chooses to get out that reactor on that barracks. Uh, his, his opponent also going down for a factory, and it looks like Dragon grabbing a starport immediately. So he has some options, whether he wants to get Hellions and drop them, or just get some medevacs out very quick, or Banshee play, but he doesn't have that much gas right now, so I don't know, I wouldn't count on it. Oh, Commander are going out for Goody, Reactor on that barracks. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw that factory transfer over. Let's get those oh, first like points out. Dragon taking yeah, the very... uh, command center as well. Going to be seeing um, Banshee play from him. Yeah, absolutely. I was a little bit surprised because he didn't grab that second gas. Uh, so maybe not getting Cloak, maybe just getting a Banshee or two. Um, and going to just kind of move it over across on the map. But like you said, Dragon also going for that command center. And is that... Yep, just going for that command center. Uh, and beyond that, I mean, I think there's going to be a little bit of downtime before anything actually hits, because Goody's grabbing a starport as well. So both players expanding, both players getting their essential tech up uh, as early game goes, and uh, we'll see what happens from here. Yeah, the Banshee will be cloakless. He only had one gas, so he's just going to be doing standard harassment with it. By the time this Banshee is across the map, I have a feeling that Goody's Viking will be out, so I don't see it doing too much damage. Yeah, but uh, at the same time, Goody's still going to have to respond to it. You know, he's, he might say, uh, Cloak could come out at some point. I should get down an engineering bay. Maybe I should get down some turrets. And in doing that, uh, Dragon might come out ahead. So, I mean, it just, kind of, it just kind of puts your opponent in a position where they have to make some quick decisions about what to invest in and when. So, cool play out of Dragon. I like it. I always like, like seeing this Banshee come out, even if you're not getting that Cloak. In a barracks here, or in a command center here from Dragon in the top left-hand corner. Uh, we've seen this every game. Yeah, what else every, is new? Every, every game he does this, uh, and, and it works. Um, it's hard Somehow. to... I mean, you should always scout every single game, but sometimes you, it, it's hard to just go, okay, I'm going to constantly scout every single one of these bases, constantly no. Um, I, I assume it will get scouted eventually by Goody if he does drops, but he's already transitioning in the mech, or should be transitioning in the mech soon. Yeah, exactly. 
Anyway, so this Banshee hasn't even moved across the map quite yet, so there, there is a Viking out, and there's another one all the way uh, from Goody. So he will be really safe, and he's already getting those uh, missile turrets down. So, I mean, he's investing in it anyway, just being very, very as safe as possible. Uh, it looks like we have this factory moving over to this reactor, what I like to call a refactory, and that will uh, get out a few Hellions along the way, and maybe eventually going for that tech lab, or maybe grabbing another factory uh, to get siege, te siege tech. But in the meantime, just kind of controlling, just being as safe as possible over here at the front of his base. Defending to the best of his ability. Rough factory, I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, man, that's exactly what that is. We still don't see a definite uh, tech choice from Goody just yet. Yes, he has a bunch of Marines out, but that doesn't mean he's going to be going bio. We still haven't seen he's going to throw on additional barracks or additional factories just yet. You can transition either way at this point. We're seeing the tech lab going down on this barracks. Will we see another factory go down or will we see additional barracks? We'll find out soon. Dragon, though, he is going Marine tank. We can already tell. He's got the factory. He's got two barracks right now. He's getting Marauders and Marines mixed in. No upgrades from him just yet. No, but the longer this game's go game goes on, the more important this hidden orbital up here becomes, and the uh, the quicker that, that dragon gets ahead. So uh, if Goody doesn't put on any pressure, then he's not really going to be able to punish dragon for that. I mean, right now, at this point, he's been dropping mules. He has uh, extra SCV production, and he's going to make this orbital be that much more worth it in just a minute or two. So, I mean, Goody really needs to get, on, uh, get out on the field. And what's interesting, something that I like to point out is the fact that uh, Korean players, they do one of two things. Either they get super greedy uh, or super aggressive, because if they're being greedy, then they're going to come out ahead. But it looks like Goody is going to spot this, uh, being so good about everything. He sees the base. We'll see if Dragon gives a little awkward, oh, uh, well. Well, Goody didn't react immediately. Now he realized, oh, he's collected. There he goes. He finally looks at his mini-map sees, oh, hey, there is, there's a base up here. What's this about? Yeah, so then go kill all these harvesters. Yeah, I want to see if we see the, the standard dot, 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 dot. From is that hell you're actually gonna almost get killed? That thing is, is at like half health right now. And the, uh, the Banshee comes over to try to save the day, and he should be able to save the base, but definitely not those Harvesters. And that's gonna cue Dragon uh, to say, I'm gonna come out, put a serious map presence and pressure on my opponent. He's got quite a few units out here. Uh, these, these units don't have Siege Tech quite yet. In fact, it's not even on the way, it doesn't look like. So Dragon just kind of pressuring uh, beyond anything. Oh, else. good, he's gonna lose these Vikings! Oh, oh, they no. dip so very low here. I mean, Goody's obviously going mech. He just threw down three additional factories, but there's nothing here to defend except for Marines. So if Jack wants to apply some pressure, I honestly think that he could, but he looks like he's just being a little worried right now. He's like, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's saying if, if my opponent scouted my third, it's very likely that he's going to try to uh, take his own third, knowing that I invested there, that he, I mean, he's going to have a little, bit of more, a little bit more time. So just being kind of safe, I like that move. Being sure to, to take stock in everything that's going on around the map. So very cool move. And he does have quite a few Vikings out here, so he doesn't have to worry too much about those Banshees. And the thing is, just because those Harvesters got killed, Goody didn't remove the base. The base is still up there on the top of mining right now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Dragon's not in a horrible spot right now. Goody's not researching Siege mode right now, so he just got these units to defend. And I don't think Dragon's going to engage with this. He, he should be going back home. He's taking a fourth command center right now. Oh, Dragon. You are fantastic. Yeah, he's got a, he had a Banshee come in alongside of a Viking, and I'm not sure he's actually able kills. to do that much. Oh, okay. Six three Hellions from before, so it got three kills. Three SUV kills, I believe. Actually, uh, one easy yes. way to kill, check. He killed four SUVs this game, so... Almost. Yeah, so I mean, he's doing alright for himself. I mean, that wasn't too too big of a thing. The bigger deal is that the Viking went down, uh, Goody's Viking went down. But anyway, I mean, Dragon still has this force out in the middle of the map, just kind of sharking around a little bit, and that makes it very hard for Goody to feel comfortable taking a third base, which uh, he hasn't done yet. In fact, he's just going straight for this. He needs to throw, throw down a couple more supply depots if he wants to continue with this aggression, but... Um, the point is, Goody is now taking back that map control, and Dragon has to respond to this, who is trying to take a fourth base right now, and that's just not going to work so great if your opponent is uh, is moving out on the map with a lot of siege tanks and such. But, I don't know, Dragon has a pretty big army at this point. Yeah, the Viking count's pretty high, though, so he has to be very careful with his medivacs. Dragon can't lead with those, or he's going to lose a lot of them. They're going to be so precious to them. And Goody is finally going to be applying a pressure to this base on the top right, but it is wall up. Armory walling off up here. Interesting choice there from Dragon. The Hellions coming up, they had blue flames, so all these harvesters will get devoured. Viking on the yeah. low ground as well. <laughs> all four of them. Yeah, all four. They're done. Game oh, over, man. This is the game winning moment for Goody. <laughs> game changer. Those Hellions. Goody with the epic foresight saying, I need to kill those four workers. Actually, he's going to keep on killing them, and that Viking is getting pretty low. Uh, but that's just making the metal hot. It's not actually killing the pilot at all. No. And it looks like Dragon's moving out onto the map. 149 supply to 118. He does have a pretty scary army over here, and his army supply is ahead of his opponents. Um, 
And Siege Tech isn't done for goody either. So here comes the engagement. Hellions coming forward, trying to deal whatever damage they can to these uh, to these Marines. And they will be able to da damage quite a few. All those medevacs will fall. But there are still some tanks over here. Dragon, though, looking pretty good with the number of Marauders. He oh, has. wow. And he will be able to kill all of these units without a doubt. And is he, is he just going to push right up? Because he can push probably push right up into this base and not have to worry about anything. I can't believe this. goody still didn't have Siege Mode. That's I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if it was forgotten. Did he start it? It, just it, now? it just finished. Oh no! It's not even started. No wait. Yeah, it, no. it just finished. It just finished like halfway through that engagement. And yeah, I mean, he shouldn't have moved out onto the map that way if he just didn't have siege mode. That was kind yeah. of a poor decision. But now Dragon's going to be even further ahead. Um, yeah. I mean, he has these four bases. He's producing off of four bases, and they're all orbitals. So he's going to feel really comfortable. And at this point, he's just going to kind of pull back. Meanwhile, Goody trying oh, to get some Hellions out on the field. SCV transfer here. with Hellions coming up. Will they be able to see the lineup? Goody gonna take a lot of damage right now. They're lining up. All oh, those SCVs just got roasted by Goody. Killing up oh, to 15 man. so far, and more are falling. Huge grab there from Goody. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff Goody needs, and he will lose these three Hellions, but, like, who cares? <laughs> that, that was well, well, well worth it. Uh, finally, those Hellions will go down, and we see, uh, we see a building kiss going on in the middle of the map, which I think is uh, nice to watch. Forbidden love. Wherefore art thou barracks? Meanwhile, Hellion's moving out onto the map, grabbing that map control, and it looks like Dragon moving out onto the map once again. He's on 1-1, and I don't think his opponent is... Actually, he doesn't have any... Uh, he's going He's going mech, so of course he doesn't have infantry 1-1. Uh, one, one. However, uh, actually his Hellions and everything aren't on 1-1 either, so he, hasn't, he has zero upgrades over here, except for Siege Tech. Well, the Viking at the top might just fall, and it does! These run buys are doing so much. I love these positioning on these supply depots by like dragon walling off every entrance imaginable. So smart. Yeah, it's cool. Except those aren't full wall offs, are they? Like that. Well, the one on the top is the one in the bottom right here. Yeah. Okay. He did have an SCB or a supply depot queued up, but it got killed. Yeah, I mean, he knows that his, uh, for his opponent to really get back into this, he's going to need a lot of those Hellion run buys and things like that. So Viking's going after that factory, and that poor that poor pilot is freaking out right now. He's like, "Buff me, buff me! I need to go faster." You buff the Overlord, but you don't buff me. Jesus. And uh, he's going to go ahead and die. So here comes a big engagement. we got some Hellions moving forward. There's a lot of Marauders in this mix, no, and that's a, uh, though, and that's exactly what Dragon needs. He kills all those Hellions. He's going to be able to rip through these tanks pretty quickly. And there's a lot of damage going down on these Marauders, but now that they're getting up forward, um, he wasn't able to break this position quite yet, and that might not have been the most cost-efficient trade, but he's on five bases, and his opponent's barely on three. So Dragon not looking too bad. Yeah, Dragon just needs to trade whittle down this army, because when Mech gets Max, what do you do to stop it? You, you really you can't, you can't stop it. So he's trying to trade efficiently, but Goody here is not giving uh, Dragon enough time to rematch. No, not at all. In fact, he's moving right out here. Siege Tech is done, like we said before, and he's going to go ahead Ooh. and siege up right on the outside of his opponent's base. But uh, Viking's landing over here for Goody as well. Looks like he's going to try to get right up in his opponent's face. He's going to be able to take out this... Uh, this base over here, which is actually not a small one. It's, uh, it's a regular base. This is, like I think, the ladder edition. Yes. So, um, now, I mean, at this point, Goody now right on the map. Is Dragon going to be able to get a big enough force to be able to deal with this very, very quickly? Yeah, we do see that. He's trying to push him to start taking out these supply depots here. Uh, Dragon's in no real thunder being supply blocked right now. He's already at 112 over 200, but um, any damage helps right now. And I don't know if Dragon's going to be able to stop this. He might have to force a base race to be able to clean this up. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's coming around from this top side to try to cut off the reinforcements, which is definitely the first step that you need. Um, you cut off the reinforcements, then move in with flanks to kill the rest of the army. Uh, and it looks like he's going to come from this backside or even go for a counterattack. It's hard to tell at this point, but it looks like he's ga gathering up enough of a force to come from two angles. And here comes the Marauders moving on forward, taking out one of those units, but... Uh, beyond that, wasn't able to take out too much. Just picking off little bits and pieces. As you said, picking off the pieces of this army is bigger for Dragon than actually killing the whole thing in one big go. Yeah, uh, we do see the Vikings streaming forward here, going for those medevacs, and that one just barely gets away. Good Dragon still is. I mean, as we discussed several times, the SCVs, or the, the base count for Dragon, has been so much higher this entire game. Um, I mean, he's got an economy to support it, but Goody's got this contain, and it's going to be hard to break. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at this point, Dragon, Dragon's main is mined out, but he still has this natural looking pretty good. He still has some units up here defending, and he has this uh, top left-hand base. And he doesn't actually need that much gas, because he isn't committing that hard to mech like he was before, so... He's, he's looking pretty pretty okay on, on income. The problem is that his opponent is sieged up in a beautiful position where it's very difficult to kind of get into and kind of fight your way back towards. So once Dragon gets kind of a three, maybe a three-pronged attack... Um, oh, but Goody is getting a sandwich instead! 
taking uh, out yeah. all the units on the top, but here comes the flank from uh, Dragon, and it's not going to be enough to break here. The reinforcing units from Goody were just too much. Dragon supplies drop into 117. Goody's still at 141. He will clean up that last Dragon definitely, able to, Dra Dragon definitely be able to break this first position, but Goody already has this, this next army on the way that forced the engagement, so he has some good siege, siege tanks over here, and Dragon has to try to rebuild this Marauder army that took him so, so long to actually get up in the first place. Yeah, this is looking uh, really bad for Dragon at this point. He's going to be losing his base. He's going to go back down to two bases where Goody. He's on three bases, taking a fourth soon. Hellion's coming up here, roasting a lot of mules, a lot of SCVs, and this is looking really bad for Dragon right now. Back down to those two bases, but it's still Biopers has met. If Dragon play, like just plays mobile, out, you know, outmaneuvers Goody, he can still fight his way back, but it's not looking good right now. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe even going for drops. I mean, he doesn't have the units to do it yet. That's the problem. Like, if he if he sends some of his units out across the map, that, that means that Goody can just push forward that much more. So he feels very, very uncomfortable trying to load up some units and drop in his opponent's main or in his natural or, or, or even at his third. Uh, I mean, controlling that gas count would be really what can kind of bring him back into this. But right now, here we go, putting it, pushing out a couple Marines and Marauders. And it looks like he's going to go for that elevator play over on the north side of this map uh, while trying to stay defensive the best that he can. Well, Dragon's got one clear advantage, his upgrades. He's currently 2-1 with 3-1 or 2-3 on the way. And Goody has no upgrades. He's just now starting that double armor. So if he can play safe, smart, and just win with the upgrades, he still has this chance. He's not done just yet. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he needs to push his advantages, though, and I, you know, doing that is really, really difficult when your opponent's playing that sort of mech. And here we go. Oh, Coming wow. in from two sides, he's going to be able to clean up the rest of this army. Goody's, Goody's tank count getting depleted over here. Now, does he have any more behind this? He does. In fact, he has 11 tanks just kind of waiting for him over by this that. forward fourth. So, I mean, Goody, although he lost those units, he can siege up, and he's now in a little bit more of a defensive posture, but he's going to move up and make sure that he can deny uh, Dragon's base, base in this bottom corner as much as possible. But maybe this elevator will be able to do enough damage uh, for Dragon to kind of move back into this game. Oh, Dragon is trying to do uh, a move around here. There are plenty of siege tanks back to defend, though, so he's not going to be able to engage this just yet. He's actually walking into it, loses, take a lot of damage there. His medevac count's not high. He's going to go for a drop into the main base. Well, Goody, he's sending in Hellions to that fifth. There's nothing behind <laughs> there. Oh, but he got off guard. All of the factories have their tech labs over here. If all those tech labs go down, it's going to be a long time before production can come back into this for Goody. Uh, and it looks like one tech lab does go down. He's going to go straight for those production facilities in the meantime, cutting off reinforcements. And here comes the rest of Dragon's army trying to move through the middle at the same time. This is going to force Goody to pull his army units back. And that means that Dragon has this opportunity, opportunity to try to move in, take out that base at the front. If he's able to do this, Dragon can still come back into this very, very convincing. This is what we talked about earlier. The mobility of mech is just too small. You outmaneuver them as buyer. You're going to do a lot of damage. He's going to get the planetary fortress here catch a lot of sea shanks the drop in the main is finally cleaned up but all those tech labs are down so there's only one factory that's building sea shanks rest are just building hellions and goody supply is plummety dragon clawing his way back into this game and he's in an excellent position right now yeah getting the marauder force that he needs split it trying to force his opponent to split his army goody re uh, overreacting really bringing his entire army back to deal with that little drop but now uh, Dragon really needs to be careful about what position he engages in. He cannot afford to walk into siege tanks. He can't afford to, to let everything that he has die due to some Hellions. Uh, and right now, Goody needs to take advantage of the fact that he has that mobility on those Hellions, and it looks like that's exactly what he's going to be doing. He knows the Dragon's pushed on forward, so it's time to try to take out his economy. Well, these Hellions are going to try and do some damage to their arm Marauders and Marines ready to defend. They're stimming, and now the Planetary Fortress is looking very scary for Goody. He's trying to move in with these siege tanks. Will Dragon go for the stim? No, he does not. Trying to find his opportunity. Hellions trying to do what they can as well. Harvesters have been killed 51 by Goody this game, so these Hellions have really paid for themselves. Harvester count 66 to 42, though. Dragon's still having a lead despite all the Hellion run buys. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, been, he's been on so many bases at this point that he can just make as many Harvesters as he wants, as quickly as he wants, and still, 192 to supply to 123. Now, uh, when playing mech, you can afford to be a little bit on the lower army size because all of your units are so cost efficient, but not this he's much. He's not I mean, rebuilding he's tech so labs far. right now. He's Yeah, he just doesn't have the factories, right? Yeah. I mean, here comes the right. stim, though. Siege tank sieging up. Nice spread from Dragon here, and he should have more than enough with the upgrades. Being 2-3 for Goody, he has 0-0. Zero, zero. He just devours this, and we should be seeing GG so very soon. Goody getting yeah. completely cleaned up. There's a GG, wow.